Bobby. Did you go inside again, Fang or uh, Rockstar? Oh, it gave you the destroy even though I popped sniper rounds into what the fuck? Thank you, uh, you guys, whoever, uh, followed me tonight. I appreciate the follow. I think, uh, I think Tuesday I might do a one of those nightfall streams. If you guys haven't ever done a nightfall, if you guys have time on Tuesday you should join. Who is here with me? Thank you, Chameleon. Yeah, I think Tuesday. Are you going to be around on Tuesday, Rockstar? Guardian down. On both sides? I switched my rocket launcher. I'm going to see if that makes any difference. Nope. Doesn't make any difference. <laughs> Alright, so do you want to go in that one? I'll go in this one. Alright, killed him. I'm grabbing it. Do you have yours? Fuck. You want me to grab it and come to you? Shit, the oracle above the gate. No! Guardian down. Yeah, and this gate closed. That blows. Yeah, I, I don't think this is gonna happen regardless, guys. Rockstar, that, were you were you able to uh, ever get your heavy ammo to spawn? Which is, which, yeah, which is probably why you guys only got shards, is this is probably a busted fucking game. Getting tired. We can back out. You guys want to back out? Or do you want to just lay waste to all these guys? Rockstar left. You ditched this Rockstar. You going to bed, buddy? You may have actually left the party, too. It may have frustrated him. understandable. Hey, you guys open the door. That's exactly where I wanted to go because I kept dying out there. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. Dylan. You guys got some goodies. At least you guys got something. I really, really was hoping you guys would get some weapons or armor or something. Imagine, imagine if you got the raid armor, the stuff that lets you go to 30. Well, and you guys know the gist of it now. What we need to get, what we need to do, if you guys do it with us next time, is we need to get you going inside of those gates so you can see how that works. Because essentially, what happens, okay. 
each gate, the inside looks exactly like it does on the outside. So there's essentially three arenas that look the same. And on each side, there's another... One side, there's mainly snipers. And the other side, there's mainly uh, Praetorians. And you gotta kill the gate, the little gate lord guy, the, uh, not the gate lord, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the, the gatekeeper, or whatever you want to call it, or whatever it's supposed to be called. Um, the bane of our existence is what I generally call it. Asshole. <clears throat> that fucking thing, that's, that's, <laughs> those are all good and valid names. <sighs> um... But basically what you generally do is you have two guys on, uh, that'll go in on one side. It's usually your, your higher level guys, and they'll run in. They'll kill that. They'll grab it. They'll come out. They'll help you guys clear that whoever's at the conflux. Ev then ev the re whoever's outside, the four, will generally spill up two and two. Two will be at that next gate. Whatever the ones the, guy didn't go, the guys at the two didn't go in before. And two will be at that conflux in the center. And then those two guys with the shield will go in to the other gate. They'll take out everything. They'll grab the second shield, so they'll both have the shields. They'll come running out, and then basically everything resets. And you, well, as far as the gates are concerned, wow, pineapple code, what the fuck? Um, <clears throat> couldn't even go to the tower with the group. Anyway, um. Sorry guys, I'm getting kind of tired. Um, yeah, so basically the gates will close, and then they'll reopen, and nothing but Praetorian spawns, just continually. And they'll come down from the stairs, and they'll come out or out the two gates. So that's why they give you the two shields, so the two shield guys can just start battering them, and whoever's left just picks off everybody else that's spawning. Because you'll have the little guys that will continue to pour out of the spawn points on top of those. So it's, it's just a crazy clusterfuck. But once that's done, then that's a save point. And then... Uh, then it's Atheon. And Atheon's basically the same thing. Except for there's no... Um, conflux in the center. So basically, Atheon's your conflux. Uh... They'll teleport three people into the gate, into one side. Whoever's outside, they have to open it. Keep it open. They'll kill a, a line of seven oracles that are in there. They'll spawn one at a time. After you grab that uh, the uh, relic. Then you go running out the gate. Uh, and then it's called a time of vengeance. Basically, it gives you like... I don't even remember, it's like 20 seconds or 30 seconds or something to just lay into Atheon. And it, it does huge amounts of damage, like the, uh, the, the epic sniper rifle, the one that recharges. It, uh, that does 12,500 damage per shot. Yeah. Uh, rocket launchers do like 10,000 damage primary hit, and then if it's like the Galahorn and it's fully upgraded, it does between 700 and like 1,100 uh, secondary missile damage. Each way little missile will circle back around and hit him. I don't know if you guys saw that happening when uh, Rockstar was firing his. Uh, but uh, it, it does take a while. I mean, he has hundreds of thousands of points of health. But, um, like, like I was trying to say before, one of the things that they changed was it used to just be the farthest three people would get teleported in, and now it's just random. It'll grab three random people. You could even be dead, and it will tele it'll try to teleport you in. It's busted. And that's why I talk a lot of trash. Because instead of, like, instead of fixing the actual gameplay... They started removing ways that people can actually like kill it easier. Like when we when we cheesed the Templar, 
they're going to end up putting a bumper there. So that way we can't knock him off. Yeah. And that part, if we would have showed you how to do it, we would probably have been there another hour. Because it's, it's a pain in the ass. Um... That is, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that if, you, so you played in the beta, right? No? Did you enter any of those codes? Go to bungie.net and enter any of the codes? Yeah, those emblems that you've got, that's what that's that's in there, that's what you should have been seeing. But um, I'm pretty sure you can still enter the codes. There's a one of my Twitter feeds I posted a link that if you guys use Google Chrome, you can just copy and paste it and go into control when you're signed into bungie.net and essentially just enter it and there's all 20 some codes. And it gives you a whole bunch of emblems and shaders and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, it's free stuff that uh, they people deciphered from the beta and whatnot. And then uh, some of the codes were one... Well, they're not one-time use codes, obviously. But they were codes that were only supposed to be in the limited editions. Um, some of them... Well, as people leaked it. For the game's release, um, some of them are from. I think it was E3. They were giving out cards, like foil cards, that had codes on them as well. So some were like Vex, and some were some of the bosses, and each of those had a code on it. And people posted all of those. So, just extra grimoire cards. That's why, like, my grimoire score is twenty-one sixty-five. You can get a really big bump by uh, going and adding all of those. But again, some of it's emblems and some of it's shaders too. It's not just uh, worthless grimoire card stuff, which... Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you guys are on, I don't know if you heard me, but if you guys are on on Tuesday or somewhere thereabouts and you guys want to... Because this week's nightfall was almost impossible, even for the best of us. Um, yeah, there's like there's no void, and there's no burn, so basically everything was in the enemy's benefit, as opposed to if it, if there's a burn, you can just pair whatever weapon class it's talking about, and uh, you can do a whole bunch more damage. Like the easiest is solar burn for me because I have the Galahorn, and that does more than 10,000 primary attack on an enemy and then between uh, 700 and 1100 uh, of each of the like 10 or so little missiles that come out of it so you, you can take out a boss in like two or three rounds um, but yeah they haven't done those in a little while they've been giving um, more of the bosses uh, perks as opposed to giving them to you, like the the one hit beat down really sucks. I'm, I'm sure uh, you guys noticed that. Uh, juggler really sucks. You know, unless you have ammo sense, you get screwed over pretty fast. Uh, but uh, next week, hopefully, there'll be some kind of a burn, and then it, I don't know if any of the other guys will want to uh, help you guys out, but I'd be more than happy to help you guys out and. Uh, Maybe do two or one or two of you at a time, and we can go through and do the uh, Nightfall and then the, the Weekly Heroic and get you guys some coins and uh, get you guys some bonus XP. Because one of the benefits of completing... one of the uh, Not only do you get that uh, awesome flaming helmet, um, but you also get weapons or armor and possibly exotics. Like this last week I got, on one of my characters, I got an exotic weapon. It's pretty sweet. And another another reason to have more than one character, guys. <laughs> uh, it... 
Right. Yeah. And especially starting out, if you have three of the same class of character, you can trade all of your armor between them. So essentially you only need one fully upgraded suit of armor, and then you can just move it between your characters until you have three full sets. Um, and that's part of the reason why I did it. Um, like, I have armor for hunters, I have armor for titans already ready. Um, but I don't want to do a hunter and I don't want to do a titan until I get full raid gear for my warlock. Once this warlock hits 30 with full raid gear, helmet and boots is the only two things I need. Which helmets... So, here's the thing. With the, the raid, once you guys get comfortable with it, you can go into just the towers like you are now. Or you can... Uh, you can go on Reddit and whatnot and just ask the, the high-level guys to help you out. And a lot of times you'll get people that will just... That's all they do is uh, kind of like what we try to help you guys with this evening. And they'll, they'll just... They're not getting anything out of it. Their entire purpose is nothing but trying to get other people to rank to 30. And some of them like to just see what other people get like I do. Is an so, um, yeah, it was really disappointing that you guys didn't get anything good, but it's your first time. You'll you'll do plenty more, and once you get the hang of it, um, my group noticed that we didn't start really getting the hang of the uh, the raid until probably our like fifth or sixth time going through it. And once, once all of us were like 28s, 29s, and 30s, uh, it, I would say once everybody is to 29 that you're playing with, there's no problem whatsoever. I mean, you'll, you will die a lot less, and uh, you'll, you'll, it, at least within the harder aspects of the game, like the, the raid and whatnot, the higher the level you are, the more damage you can deal to an enemy with your weapon. I didn't really believe that at first until we got to play with that uh, one of the two guys that went through and did that vault on hard. There's actually there's two guys that did that entire vault. Not only a normal, just two guys, but they did it on hard as just a pair. Yeah, it's uh, just two, just just two, two good, two guys. Yeah, SC Slayerage and SC Furball. Their names. Um, Game Informer did a story on uh, Game Instor uh, Game Informer. <laughs> Game Informer did a story on them. Um, Reddit, of course. Uh, there was a lot of stories of them done through Reddit. Um, then, of course, uh, all the copycat news sites picked up on it. So you had uh, what? What? This guy's harassing me. No, I'm not going to do Nightfall with you. Go away. He's following me, pointing. He's like, no, stop following me, damn it. I'm just going to jump off the edge, fucker. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a tower. Let's see if this guy follows me off. Nope, he left. <laughs> uh, Fang, I didn't even realize you were still here. I thought you left. What the fuck, man? Yep, he's gone. But, uh, I don't remember what else I was going to tell you guys. There's, it's, there's a lot to take in, especially if with when it comes to the raid. But there's a lot of tactics that playing it with different people, um, you'll pick up. It was like how we do it. it. It just works for our group. Um, a couple of our senior members have recently tried to introduce some other m methods, and they don't work with our group. So it's just it's important, especially if you have time. Uh, check out YouTube. Watch other people, other groups do it, um, and then just try it as many times as you can, even if you fail. I mean, you, you, it, every time is a learning experience. I can't even tell you how many times that we practiced trying to get in the front freaking door before we actually made it in. <clears throat> and it was funny, because the first time we ever actually got in the door was... I 
day after we had tried it for like four or five hours. Like just random guys kept joining. And people were like, oh, well, I gotta go, da 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 da. But I could invite, uh, I got a friend that's on, I could invite them. And so it, we were just, everybody was continually replacing themselves with their friends and stuff. And it, it didn't, it, <clears throat> yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> There, there's, yeah, there's a reason why the vault claimed thousands and thousands of lives the first week. <clears throat> and that was just at the door. But to be fair, the majority of people that were trying it were like we were. We were like 24s and 25s and 26s. I think there was only one 27. And, and we're like, oh, we got this, you know. Because they were like, they were releasing it, and they are like, oh, we re re highly recommend nobody under 26 try it. So of course, everybody's like, well, I'm a 25, I can do that. It's not a problem. If there's, if there's like five 25s, we should be good. We only need one 26. No, nah, that's wrong. <laughs> well, it just, I, I would say at least, at least half of you need to be bare minimum 26. If, if you're going to have somebody that's 26 or lower, you need to have somebody... Yeah, I mean, so, somebody at least one to two levels higher than the minimum, like 27 or 28, to make up for that. That's just because of how... Well, you guys saw how much of a pain in the butt it was, and that, that was just on normal. I mean, I highly recommend, um, once you guys get comfortable and get in the door, just put it on hard one time. The, getting in the door isn't going to change, but try it once you get comfortable with it because it's a whole nother beast it's it's i don't know if i've ever cursed more times in my life than when we tried it on hard like it was it was a very humbling experience because we're like dude we've, we've been doing this we've been doing it on normal we got it down let's try it on hard Well, we tried it. We're like, oh, we got in the door. And then as soon as we got in the door, and just, uh, one of the guys, I don't remember who it was, was like, no, I noticed the level of the guys at the door only said like 26 or 27. I wonder if it's, did we actually select it on hard? And we went and looked, and yeah, it was it was on hard. And we're like, okay, well, that's not a problem. And as soon as we went down to where that <clears throat> first boss is, and we tried to do just the, the conflux, we all died. Every one of us. Like, just defending that first conflux, there's so many guys that spawn. You just, unless you have high level weapons, and by high level I mean <clears throat> fully upgraded to 300. It needs to be void and it needs to be fully upgraded to 300. If you don't, if you don't have a uh, void weapon, that's part of the reason why Xur carries one every week, a weapon. Like, this, this week, if you guys have enough coins, um, there's that. That is a void. The truth is a void rocket. And what's cool about that, yeah, what's really cool about that is it has a feature called aggressive tracking. And what that aggressive tracking is, is it's, if, I don't know if you've noticed if you had any other lock-on rocket launchers, when an enemy teleports, yeah, when an enemy teleports, the, uh, the rocket kind of just goes straight and hits the ground. Or the wall, or whatever. Now, with aggressive, when they teleport, it will bend and hit them. <clears throat> like it won't. F I th I thought that meant because there was a lot of people when the well before they sold truth the first time that were saying that you know that the the truth can follow enemies around corners and stuff. Well, that's just not true. It'll follow them through a teleport. So if they if it, if you're a good distance away, I would say like 15, 20 feet or so, and they teleport, it will curve and it will hit them. Because it also has a secondary feature that's uh, early detonation. So if it curves and it comes across another enemy in the line of fire, it's going to hit them and detonate in their face long before it ever gets to your actual target. Which is nice because you're guaranteed a kill almost all the time. Um, but the fact that it's... Right. And the fact that it's a void is awesome. It, it helps a lot with taking down those Praetorians. Because now, now you guys have seen them. And you've seen what kind of damage they can deal. Um, <clears throat> and uh, that's another thing. I, I thought I mentioned it before, but it's good to uh, 
hammer that back in. That was not as hard as a normal raid is. That was actually easier than it normally is. And that's just because of how many people and what their levels were. The higher your level is, it's just like Nightfall and a lot of the strikes. I don't know if you guys have ever tried doing a strike solo. It, it, it can be, if you have good weapons and decent armor, it's, it can be insanely easy. Like, I have uh, soloed the Nightfalls before. That can be a humbling experience in itself. <laughs> <laughs> but when, when there's a burn, like, I, I could not have done Nightfall this week. There's just no way to do it solo this week. I got all the way up to the boss, and then I needed help. Um. All right. It, yes. Yeah, no worries. Um, and anytime you guys want to uh, to play again, I'm always on. So, yeah, just hit me up or join me if I'm by myself. And uh, yeah, yeah. Have a good night. Or good good morning, I guess it would be. All right, I'm back now. I almost did something bad and ended the uh, stream. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see what other trouble we can get into. Jack Ace, that bastard. Uh, let's see what else we can do. I will go and do multiplayer. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, chameleon, uh, not right now. I'm sorry. Um, you know what? How far are you guys? Have you guys gotten the gate? I know I could probably help you guys a little ways. I do want to uh, to go and play some multiplayer since one of my buddies has been asking. Mr. Dylan, why does it say Chad is on, but he's not actually on? That confuses me. Two hours to the wall. Two hours back. Well, you're at Atheon. Oh, that's sad. All my food is cold. My poor wife went and got me food. She was awesome and went and got me some uh, grub. I thought she got me two crunchy tacos. Oh, no, that's right. Uh, in a way, Dylan. All my viewers are family in one shape, way, shape, or form. Ooh. Guess I should grab my, uh... 
crucible weapon. I'm gonna go and do it. Death by crucible. Yes, sir, I did, or yes, ma'am, I did. I still got it. And I actually put your name on the site. You were the first one. You ever feel like you just want to continue to play and play and play and play, but you're like so worn out? What is the one for today? Skirmish? I am not going to do skirmish. Flash. Yeah, that's kind of screwed up, man. <laughs> you can't expect somebody to do all the work for you. That's kind of fucked up. Good news, everybody. I was actually or able to order some G Fuel this week. Finally. Finally, they had my G Fuel in stock. But I did not use the donation for it. I left the donation there. Because the G Fuel is insanely expensive. Like, it was like... 30 some dollars, almost $40 shipped. I ordered that, um, I usually drink the fruit punch, but I currently have, well, I ordered that new limited edition Whatever the bleep it was. Baseberry. Control. Yeah. It sounded kind of good, so I wanted to try it. Only one path to victory, guardians. Yeah, it kind of bothers me that they don't send you a, a uh, like a tracking number right away. Zone A's captured. It's yours. Every other time Enemy I've ever ordered it, I had to uh, Enemy captured zone B. order third party because they never had the fruit punch in stock. Now that they had phase barrier, I was like, oh, I'll give phase barrier a shot. You're falling behind. But the stuff worked so well for me when I was playing before. Don't like, see. Uh, oh my gosh. Go. 
I don't know if I've ever felt as good as I did when I had that phase berry. Hard light does not work for me. Yeah, my favorite is Fruit Punch by far. Like, I absolutely love Fruit Punch. Don't see lost. Somebody stole my kill. Enemy captured zone C. I mean, I've only ever done like uh, I've only had like two or three tubs ever. And what's funny is, like, it was working so well for me. My wife started jacking it. Trades available. Are you talking about me? Oh. No, it's because I switched my weapons from character to character. See? Sorry, it gets annoying to me too. I wish that it wouldn't show that when you switch from character to character. Bullshit. Yeah, I have one or two. <laughs> I just need to do the, the more of the vault on hard. Is what I really need to do. Don't see neutralized. Oh crap! Yeah, Zone it's C bullshit. Secure. No, 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 no. I try to max out everything. I don't know if you saw my vault. My vault is pretty much full of maxed out weapons as well. Don't see lost. And then each of my other characters have a bunch of fucking vault weapons and stuff that need upgraded. Heavy ammo on the way. Oh. You son of a bitch. No, I, like I said, I try to keep everything upgraded. Oh, dude, I just got executed. I was reading what you guys wrote. <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with that glitch heavy ammo sense. That was such bullshit. That was such fucking bullshit. Did you like, use what, four? Be neutralized. Zone B secure. It's a crock of shit, is what it is. Zone C neutralized. Oh no, we just got screwed the f up. Zone C secure. You control all zones. <sighs> We control all Zone zones. Lost. We don't really control all zones, do we? Enemy captured Zone A. <laughs> They're dancing. I'm not even like trying. I'm reading all the. Yeah, it just, it really frustrates me when the stuff breaks like that, man. I mean, they, they, I mean, I, I'll admit, I, uh, enjoyed the loot caves just as well as anybody else. But, I mean, I didn't overuse them like a lot of people did. dick that's behind us. Surprise, asshole! Oh, you suck. Gained the lead. Lost that's crazy. The lead. 
I don't know where you thought you were going. Oh, it looks like Chad is on. Homemade chili sounds awesome. You know what I was hoping for tonight? I was hoping for some pizza. Heavy ammo I kind of been, I've been kind of craving like stuffed crust pizza. Like kind of hardcore actually. Heavy ammo available. I don't know where you guys all thought you were going, but... Zone C secure. <laughs> You're falling behind. I've got nachos. And I've kind of been drinking, so nachos are good. <laughs> Five minutes remaining. Gained the lead. I don't know who I just killed, but I killed somebody. And then there's this turd that's kind of trying to go behind us. I know. Uh, Their whole team is there, oh shit. Um, I don't know yet. Uh, GTA 5, I kind of played the hell out of it for, uh, 360. I don't, even with the upgraded graphics and whatnot, I don't, I'm not all that impressed with GTA. I mean, it was fun and all, but... Not really me. What are they using? Oh, uh, Soros Regime? That's what I'm using. I don't know how the hell they're beating me. Just be a dick and use fucking hard light. Just bounce that shit around fucking corners and shit. Where the fuck did you come from? Holy hell, Batman. I like the hard light because you can bounce it. Do I what? Do I like GTA? I like GTA as much as the next guy, but... Am I like hardcore gta -er? No. I, I kind of got bored with it, to be fair. It wasn't open world enough for me. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I'll rent it. I mean, it's not gonna be right right away. I mean, I've got Halo the Master Chief Collection will keep me pretty busy for quite a while. I'm very, very, very excited for Halo. Heavy ammo on the way. Enemy captured zone B. Heavy ammo available. Beer, and I've got beer. <laughs> oh shit! Lost the lead. Pizza and beer. Pizza and beer. But I don't condone underage lead. drinking at all, Zone ever. B neutralized. Wait until you're 21. It's more fun that way. Zone B secure. I can tell you from experience, getting in trouble for underage drinking is not cool. Especially, especially when the police have to be involved. It's not cool for you, it's not cool for your parents. Uh, 
Uh, oh, icebreaker. Yeah, no wonder. One minute. Where are you, corpster? You like grape jelly with your pizza? Dude, uh, one of my good friends from high school was a freak for barbecue sauce on his pizza. Like, just straight up regular fucking pizza. And he put this... There's this place in Colorado um, that's called Prospect. And it's really small. It's really close to a, a town called Longmont. And this, this place, remaining. this Prospect, sold... Um, there was a barbecue place there. And that barbecue place... Uh, was Kansas City barbecue, like legit Kansas City barbecue. Made everything homemade, it was awesome. They had this barbecue sauce that they just, they put three X's on it. They said that if they could draw skulls, they would. And it, it was so hot. Dude, my buddy was a freak for this stuff. Like, he would always come over and he would raid our fridge for that hot, that hot sauce. Like, it would always be pizza. Dude, we gotta have pizza. We gotta have pizza. Why? Dude, you got hot sauce. We gotta have pizza and or uh, pizza and barbecue sauce. Pizza and barbecue sauce. Nice. Which uh, which exotic? Something good. I got a mode of light. See, I sucked. I got eight kills because I'm talking to you guys. It's okay. It's all fun. It's the weekend. I'm only supposed to be sleeping. What's crazy, if you guys were watching earlier, if I would have been streaming, um, Rockstar got Thunderlord. He's been trying to get that forever. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I love you guys. And you know what's really jacked up is we're we're actually one one follower away from hitting seventy. I mean that is insane. Nice. It's a good helmet. Yep, yep. You know, I've been getting a ton of uh, exotics. tonight yeah you've been in the stream for a while or early in general control it's okay it's still a good helmet just put Bravo it in your vault and make a Titan later that's what I do time to fight guardians Capture after this all I'll, uh, I'll take you guys and I'll show you everything in the vault I keep lots Enemy of good shit in my vault. Zone a. I'm zone gonna throw C a grenade in these secure. fuckers' faces. Zone B secure. I just got fucking grenaded with the lightning grenade. Uh, in general, you were here pretty early on. 
I mean, I could look at your position and in the uh, see where are you? Zone C lost. Enemy captured zone you C. You were. You're number 55. You're my 55th viewer. Or, uh, follower. <clears throat> Zone C neutralized. Zone B lost. Zone cure. Enemy captured zone B. Dude, that's good. That's good shit right there. Um, I got an exotic from the Tiger Strike playlist. I've actually gotten two, to be fair. I've gotten an actual weapon. And I've gotten legendaries that turned into exotics. That's how I got hard light. I got a... I just got hard light. We did the raid. The last time we did the raid, I got the, uh... You're in the lead. Zone B no. neutralized. No, what's impossible is get, like, two exotics in a row. That's impossible. I've seen some crazy ass shit in this game. Enemy captured zone B. You're falling behind. Gained the lead. Heavy ammo on Gained the way. Gained the lead. I am not helping my team at all. Lost the lead. Heavy ammo available. You're in the lead. Dude, my wife got the universal remote today. I was fucking pissed. That's one of the ones that I've been wanting. But it's okay, the uh... Xbox One, bud. Xbox One. Zone a. You're falling behind. I try to uh, put it in the stream title so that everybody can see. I know it's not the Vault of Glass anymore. We uh. We had our fun. Gains we were teaching some new guys, three new guys, how to play it. They made it as far as the uh, gatekeeper by Atheon. Which isn't too bad for... You're dead no matter what, bud. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for filling in the uh, the blank. That's pretty sweet of you. Do I? Zone B neutralized. Yes, I remember Bubble Death. I was actually showing it to uh, one of my new friends uh, two days ago. Yep. 
What the bubble death? I do. I remember it vividly. I remember because I was there. <laughs> Enemy captured zone B. And it was hilarious. Dave is a dick. Um, well, that should have been a beatdown. Hippo's gone wild. Heavy ammo inbound. <laughs> Heavy ammo available. Zone B. Dude, you bitches are using nothing but shotguns, man. And I don't even have my Zone shotgun B on me. Secure. Zone C lost. Enemy captured zone C. Fucking those fucking bounce fucking munitions all over the faces. Five minutes remaining. Look at this! Every freaking douchebag in the world is using a shotgun. I don't even have any of my shotguns with me. I don't know why I forgot my damn shotgun. I feel like an idiot now that I forgot it. Zone C neutralized. Zone B lost. Yeah, every motherfucker with a fucking shotgun in the goddamn world. That shit just pisses me the fuck off, man. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be a fucking asshole. If these guys wanna fucking play the shotgun fucking game, fine. You know what we're gonna do, everybody? We're gonna be an asshole. They brought the asshole out of me, I'm gonna fucking be an asshole. Yeah. Dropped your fucking shield with your shit, didn't I, bitch? You wanna play the fucking sh shotgun horror game? We'll play. Don't be neutralized. Down to the ground is where your bitch ass does belong. When I smack you in the face and then your head pops off. Enemy captured zone B. Hi. You neutralize zone A. Zone C lost. How did that hurt me? I wasn't even near it. What the fuck? Enemy captured zone C. Zone A secure. My team sucks. <laughs> yeah, you got cooked. I could show you guys a very, very mean thing that can be done in this, but I don't want to get fucking banned from Destiny because I know something that I should not know how to do. And is very, very mean. Zone A lost. I could actually Enemy show you guys probably the A. biggest game-breaking glitch that you can actually C. use in the Crucible, which is so freaking wrong. Captured. It's not not even funny in any way, shape, or form. Like it is, it is so wrong. Heavy ammo on the way. Heavy ammo bye bye. available. Show you. <sighs> I want to, but I shouldn't. 
It, it's actually it's really bad. Like it's it's devastatingly bad. Zone A secure. Zone C lost. Looks like you've misjudged your enemy. It looks like you're a dick. Zone A lost. Oh, you. Secure. <laughs> Don't do it. Captured. Everybody wants to know so they could use it in Crucible and shit. Enemy captured. Zone A. Stand tall, Guardian. This battle is lost, but there will be others. How about this? If I will hold a special session of show you whatever game stuff you want to see once I hit a hundred followers. I mean, we're pretty close. We're only what twenty? Thirty-one away. Thirty-one. And I'll show you all whatever you want to see. <clears throat> Chances are it ain't going to be fixed anytime soon. What follower were you? You were number... Sixty-three. What's funny is the person that was number one wasn't even my best friend. It was uh, Captain, Cap Captain Reefer. Number one. And my buddy was number two, which he's being a douche right now. And then a couple other guys that I know. And yeah. Like my family members weren't even until Control. like number seven and eight. Bravo team. Oh fuck, I wasn't gonna stay in this. I wasn't gonna show you guys the shit in the vault. Capture and defend guardians. <laughs> the food in a toilet. Those should never those words should never go together, but Alright, I'm gonna go to the vault and show you guys. Now I have a question for you guys. Is it just me, or did those guys that I was playing with and showing them how to do the vault, did they seem very, They were, were they not very interested in the random shit I was saying? Like, I've been kind of spurting some random shit, like I know you were 63, something like that. Oh, Chameleon? Chameleon, you were... You were number 69. Whoop, whoop. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you guys couldn't hear him. Yeah, it's because the stupid freaking bungee can't get the damn vault sounds right, so... Yeah, Chameleon, you're number 69, dude. You're blangity. <laughs> 
That's not a number, that's a way of life. Not. That's good. Yeah, look, I have shotguns right here. I don't know where the hell my other ones are. Oh, that's right, I broke down my damn crash, and that was my vault. Or that was my, uh... My m nice multiplayer shit. Makes me very sad. Yeah, we've got Hunter stuff in here. Heart of the Order. I have that Hood of the Order, too. I should probably dump in here. Warlocks. Got lots of stuff. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 exotics on the on these guys right here. <laughs> You'll always remember your follow number. Yes. As you should. Still having problems? I thought you guys would have been done with the vault by now. Is it just the two of you? Uh, the add-on for the Sparrow. Um. I'll show you. I was gonna give Chad a bunch of shit. He's playing freaking COD. What the fuck? You haven't done it, you've been waiting on me. What? <laughs> We're not going to be able to defeat Atheon right now with just three people. I'm telling you that right now. And I think I've been drinking too much to do Atheon at this point. But you should never wait on me. I'll, uh, I'll show you that speeder upgrade, though. I have the first one, the one on the left. The one on the right just changes the colors of shit and it's stupid. Stealth driver, whatever it is. Y'all just want to be big rock stars living. What? Are you singing? Yeah, but you have to have a blue speeder to upgrade it. No, they don't do the same thing. Generally, all well, sometimes. I guess sometimes the one is just a different color, but mine, I bought the plasma upgrade, drive upgrade, or whatever it is, so... Fine. See how it's... I'll show you. I'll go into my speeder. I have lateral, which I already had an upgraded blue speeder. So I had the lateral, and then see the speed compared to a green. Way to beep up there.
But no, it, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be the same. Um, just different colors. Because this one actually makes my speeder move faster. Even though it was the blue when I initially bought it. I can go as fast or faster than the guys that have the time breaker even when they're trying to do that overload to catch up. Sucker's so fast. You know, it doesn't look it because it doesn't have a huge flame out the back, but it really does haul balls. <laughs> I just hit that dude in the stomach. My white speeder, I'll show you. I will show you, young Padawan. My speeder's cool. It's white. Match my chatter white when I'm wearing it. My dude looks so awesome when I have chatter white on. Because I'm all white, and then my... Um, <clears throat> my whole suit's white, and then my ship is white too, and then just has the blue going out the back. I will show you, young Padawan. That is why I'm going back to the tower. I think I need to go watch a movie. Because I'm about to pass out. I don't ever drink. Which again, as a disclaimer, I don't encourage underage drinking or condone it in any way, shape, or form. I actually frown upon underage drinking. So if you're not an adult, if you're not 18 to 21, depending on the country or state you live in, don't do it. Some restaurants might let you try wine and stuff. Alright, so what you're going to want, see how one's a plasma drive permanently up to improve overall speed and durability. And this one's just an emerald coil. Oh, I guess that one says... Huh. Interesting. I just bought the one, the blue one, the one on the left. I don't, I didn't know there was. They basically both looked the same. I don't know, I just always bought the one on the left. And then to get the blue ship. Lamb. Right there. 175 Vanguard marks. And if you look, there's the orange and black one, which I've got. I think I have that one too. And there's my all white one, the S31V. And then there's this one, which is orange and black instead of black and orange. But yeah, if you want the exact same one as mine, you need this speeder right here. And then you need the blue, the plasma drive upgrade. <clears throat> and it'll upgrade that blue speeder to a purple speeder. Sorry, you think my guy looks like an Asari? I'm a sorta. <clears throat> For they have, it'd be like if an Asari and a human 
had a kid. They had more human aspect than Asari, yeah, I guess that would be. I still love Mass Effect. Loved. There is no D in there. I love uh, Mass Effect. What's crazy is if you play this game and listen to the Mass Effect soundtracks, uh, it fits better than it fit in the freaking Mass Effect game. Like, it's ridiculous. some of the action music for the strikes and uh, the boss battles and stuff and then the uh, the menu sounds and the environmental sounds for uh, just wandering dude what the beep like if they when they got rid of Marty O'Donnell the, the, which if anybody that doesn't know who that is Marty O'Donnell's the guy that actually made all the Halo music very awesome person. Uh, Bungie ended up firing him, and they never gave a proper reason why. I think there's a... They documented and put out why they fired him recently, but... What they need to do if they're not gonna if they're gonna take forever on the Mass Effects is they should do like they did with the Halos, with the Master Chief Collection, is they should relaunch it, like they did for like the PS3. But they should relaunch it on next gen with the next gen upgrade like graphics engine. That would be freaking epic. I know that costs an insane amount of money. I'd be eager to make to play an MMO like that based around that universe. I mean that'd be freaking cool. Anybody ever watch Stargate? Is this chick? I don't know if you anybody else has noticed. That's uh Claudia Black. Of Lady that plays uh, Volum Mal Maldoran. Okay. It's her voice. Listen. Or she plays. Uh... Interesting. What's her face from uh... Peacekeeper from Farscape? I don't remember her name. Yeah, if you listen, that's that's her voice. Special auxiliary to the Vanguard. The Krogan are cool because they have auxiliary organs. Oh yes, Grunt, the uh, engineered Krogan. All the best, best aspects of their race, right into one. He is the perfect specimen. What is the daily? I don't know what the daily is. Mm, 
nacho cheese. But daily. What do you mean a cyborg, Krogan? You haven't beat the daily yet? This week's nightfall was bullshit. That's what it was. The best place to beat that is hiding underneath the stairs. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'd like. I just, I'm, t I think I'm too tired to play anything, guys. I shouldn't have even uh, did the other shit. But I mean, I'll be back on in a few hours. I think I'm, like I said, I think I'm gonna get off and go watch a movie for a little while. And then, uh, pass out. Hopefully I don't pass out on the couch. Nice, dude. Yeah, that's what I, we were doing. Hiding under the stairs. Yeah, that's the best way to do it on that one. Yeah, it's not hard to solo. It's just... Lame. Especially if you're not a warlock. Yeah, we ended up hiding under the stairs at least one of the times. It's just all the all of those waves of guys and not having any benefit. You have to either eat, keep moving like continually, non-stop, and never fucking stop moving, or um, hide. One of the three little hideouts. first Xbox game was the original Xbox and it was Halo Halo will be the first and last game I ever play on the Xbox
I'm falling asleep. Yeah, the uh, Mass Effects were really well made. I'm very happy with the way that they ended up turning out. I was not happy with the fact that they moved over to PlayStation, but I can't really hate on any in any particular console. Because they all have their benefits, I just don't like the fact that where they went. And the fact that they got like extra content and shit, that just pissed me off. like Bungie. Tony was like, oh yeah, we'll pay you a whole bunch of money if you come over to Rock Console. H hence why there's exclusive content. <clears throat> and they were pressured into trying not to look bad. Since they were already a, they were previously a Microsoft company, they didn't want to make it look like they were still in favor of Microsoft. I'm not even kidding you. You think I'm joking. If I ever get to a point where I absolutely hate the Xbox, if it ever goes to a point that I absolutely lament and hate it, that last day, I will get back on Halo to try to give it one more chance to redeem it by playing Halo. And if I still can, if I can't be swayed by playing Halo, then the Xbox deserves to die. In my opinion. Not even kidding. Yeah, you laugh though, I'm dead serious. That last day, it'll be Halo, man, that gives it. <laughs> if that day ever comes. I'm not saying it's today. I have so much Xbox stuff in my house, it's absolutely ridiculous. I have unreleased game discs that only a handful of testers got their hands on. I've got banners. Bunch of Halo swag. Lots of it, actually. Clothing, boys. That's so funny. Yeah, I've got kids. I don't think I'll ever be able to get rid of any of this stuff. And my son's still trying to get us to get let him have R three sixty. He's been trying to talk us out of it for months now. He 
telling him no, it's a Halo Xbox. And we're not going to let you have the Halo Xbox. It's going to go back into its box. And it's going to stay in the collection. Alright. I suppose it's time for me to go to bed. At least go watch some TV or something. Somebody unfollowed. Who unfollowed? It's weird. Looks like somebody was in here and they uh, were watching and then they just unfollowed. Weird. Yeah, I can't tell who. Just said somebody unfollowed. I noticed the number went from 69 to 68. Um, Superman, I'm actually just heading offline, buddy. Thank you, though. I really appreciate it. People do that. People come and go, man. I, I've had a lot of people that have come in and then, um, there was a couple of them when I first started. There's a couple people that came in and they were, uh, Anyway, what I was saying was I a little while back, yeah, I had some when I it was a couple weeks in after I started streaming. I mean, to, uh, I've been streaming for months now, but uh, people came in and it was brother and it was two brothers I think, and they were weird. Um, they asked me a lot of like personal questions, that are creepy. And thank you very much for the uh, the follow, Superman. I appreciate it, dude. Holy crap, look, our number of viewers jumped up to 805. There's 805 people have viewed us. Um, if I'm on tomorrow, if you can, if you, 
don't end up completing it tonight, yeah, try to hit me up tomorrow. Because I've, uh... I'm just tired. Define weird. Um... Weird being... The, uh, the amount of personal questions that they asked and then how upset they got when I wouldn't answer them, that's weird. Like, creepy. Like, I'm telling you, creepy. Like, what state I'm from, what I like to eat. Uh, it was just... I almost thought that they were, like, chicks. I mean, like, the, the kind of the strange questions that they were asking. It's kind of like uh, when you're trying to get to know somebody when you're when you're first dating them kind of thing. And I was like, uh... And get this, okay. You know, I'm not I'm not a jerk like that though. If if you come in and you watch, you know, you can ask Dylan. He's been here a little while. The person that you can ask if you really want to know what kind of person I am is Fang. You know, Fang has been with us for a very long time. Um, again, some of my other friends that I've met through here and whatnot. But Fang is a person that I play with continually. Um, and he was actually originally a viewer. So, I mean, I, I'm not a... I'm, don't get me wrong. I am a dick. I'm an asshole. But... I, I'm up front with it, but I'm not going to be an asshole or a dick to you guys in, in the feed because you're coming here to view me, you know, and I really care. You guys have taken the time that you could be doing other things to come and watch me and hang out and chat and, you know, and get to know me. But, I mean, there's a, there, there is a, a level of courtesy that is generally there, you know. I mean... You don't ask somebody like, any of the no-no kind of questions, like sexual preference kind of things, or you don't go into asking about their family directly. I mean, especially if you've, you're not like a long-time viewer, and you haven't like, I mean, I'm, I'm me being a stay-at-home dad, watching the streams, you'll eventually hear my kids, you'll get hear me, um, eventually you'll, we'll get to know each other that way. But, but I mean, to be asking like creepy freaking questions, like where I'm from, where I was born kind of stuff, I was like, that's, those are no-no questions. That's how it should be for all of us. I mean, that's where I started. I mean, I started just watching, and then I was like, you know, I'm a stay-at-home dad. I play games quite a lot as it is, and I like watching other people play. So, you know, why don't I go ahead and try to stream, and here we are today. Exactly. That kind of shit. That's what made me think that maybe one or both of them were girls. Because a guy doesn't ask another guy that kind of question. <laughs> That's just, uh, unless you're joking around kind of stuff, and those weren't joking around questions, they were just out of the blue, and then they got kind of frustrated when I didn't fucking answer them. Um, or, like, asking my wife's first name and shit. I'm sorry, if she wants you to know it, go into her stream when she's streaming and ask her. If she wants you to know it, she'll tell you. That kind of stuff. I'm not going to give you a bunch of personal information so you can try to identify me that way. I mean, it doesn't work that way. I mean, you get to know me, you can identify me that way, you know. We need to get to know each other. You know, this is a two-way street. You know, and I don't care how many streamers I, or how many followers I end up getting. I would love to get to know every single one of my viewers. Who does? Uh, it's the A1 stead on my... 
Uh, she doesn't stream very often. I actually have to get her to stream. She's been kind of upset lately, so... Um, trying to get her to actually play is kind of a chore. But it gets her mind off of other things, so that's important. And my wife is cool. She's my best friend in the whole wide world. And she's a very awesome person. Um, but, I mean, this these one people, one of them asked me if I would help them with their homework. Like, we're asking me, can I ask, or I'm going to ask you uh, questions. Can you be my calculator? I was like, what? What the hell kind of question is that? They're like, I'm going to use you as my calculator. I was like, what do you think this is? And that's when they got all butthurt and they unfollowed me. Like, okay, you know, get pissed off that I can't, you're not going to, I'm not going to let you use me as a... Uh, how did you get the name Phoenix Krause? That is a very, very long story. Dude, some of these people, like, that come in here, I understand. I didn't ban them. I'm, like I said, I'm not a dick like that. And the other one, the other sibling, I, I got a feeling that they were the same person. They were just on two different devices. But the other person kind of acted different. So I don't know what they were playing at. And I'm sure they come in here every now and then. They're, they were creepy as hell. But no, I did not ban them. Um, Phoenix, the, the easy way to explain how I got my gamer tag, uh, it's actually my online handle. I use that name for just about everything, and I've actually been using that since 56k internet. And before that, somewhere in between there, I was using Liquid Cryos as well. And that comes from the Phoenix, the mythological bird, uh, born in fire. The immortal being. And... Uh, Cryos, which is an opposing force. I mean, uh, the Phoenix represents uh, fire and, uh, like I said, destruction and rebirth. And Cryos is short of cryostasis, which um, I've always had a, fa uh, a fascination in cryogenics. So, and the the temperature to keep a cell uh, frozen but not crystallized is is crazy like in order to get something to freeze quickly but not crystallize is is just absolutely insane so i mean two opposing forces coming together and creating a uh, phoenix fire and cryostasis ice oh yeah there it is that's the easiest way to explain it. I, they, I can go into a lot more detail, but I'm, like I said, I'm exhausted. It's kind of funny to say that you're exhausted from playing video games, but... When you try to play and try to do it well, and try to do it professionally, and teach people how to do it properly, and try to stay, keep your fingers in the community, and try to guide people in the right direction, and how to be nice to each other online, <laughs> on top of that, take care of my little demons. <laughs> it's a job. <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> now, if you want to send it shards fast, you can do one of two things. One, you can do a get a group together and just go in the first couple parts of the vault 
that's kind of a pain in the ass way to do it. The easiest way to do it is get on the site destinypublicevents.com and uh, event farm. That's the absolute fastest way to get shards. Um, well, the, the one that you'll probably hear the most if you're in the streams continually, which for the longest time I was streaming, um, like eight hours a day, well, at least eight hours a day, it was like all the time that I'm on gaming, but there wasn't very many people that come in and stick around, usually people only come in and hang out when you're doing something cool. Which is understandable, because, I mean, it's inter it's supposed to be... <laughs> well, that's a good way, but you don't want to dismantle your legendaries unless you get something better than what you're breaking down. And never break... Never break down legendary... <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't be yawning and talking. <clears throat> that's annoying even to me. Never break down legendaries, especially weapons. Uh, unless you have them upgraded to a point that they actually require shards. So upgrade them to the point before they require shards, and then break them down. Because you'll get at least twice as many, um, tw twice as much of it. And a lot of times, especially with weapons, you'll get telemetries out of it. Just uh, a trick. Uh, armor, I, I don't ever break down, uh, unless it's fully upgraded. Up to the point that it requires shards. Um... Oh. And don't ever break down any of that queen's armor because it ain't worth shit anymore. Yep, no worries, that's why I'm here. I've done it all. Bum, bum, bum. I've even gotten into some of the places you're not supposed to get into, and I, there's footage of it. Played around in some of the areas you're not supposed to play in. But, uh... They're both, be they're both awesome guns. The Icebreaker is good because of its overall damage. It, as far if you're looking at just straight up damage, yes, Icebreaker is a better weapon than Patience and Time. However, Patience and Time, I could never see myself having one without the other, because Icebreaker is a great overall sniper, but you're really limited to those six rounds, and you have to wait for him to recharge. The Patience and Time, you have the invisibility, you have that awesome sound, you have that awesome range. I mean, it's just that is itself is. They're both overall insanely good weapons. I like to use the Icebreaker, especially during missions that have Juggler. Because I can use the Icebreaker to build up ammo, and then you switch over to your whatever your other special weapon that you want to use, whether it be a, uh, a shotgun, a fusion rifle, or another sniper rifle. And it will give you at least half of the ammo that it's supposed to have. So that's another trick, and it's basically bottomless. When you run out of ammo, just switch back to the icebreaker, let it charge up those six rounds, and then switch back. Over and over and over again. I love patience and time because you can absolutely obliterate captains and those hallowed knights with the shields.
Plus, and who doesn't like a sniper rifle that can make you go invisible for like, what, 15 seconds? Without actually having the perk? Uh, Gallahorn is good. Uh, believe it or not, I actually have two. Yeah, um... See, that's the kicker. The, the Gallahorn, from what I've read and from who I've talked to, the Gallahorn should never have actually been a weapon that could be acquired yet. It was supposed to be an insanely rare item, kind of like... Uh, a one in like hundreds of million to a close to a billion drop. Um, but for whatever reason they changed that and made it so everybody could get a hold of it. Because it's originally, from what I understand, again, from what I've heard, the Gallahorn you weren't supposed to be able to get until the... Uh, What do you call it? It was one of the vaults. Not the Seraphim vault, that one's coming up. The Charlemagne's vault. Which isn't for quite a while. But they've changed so much of the story over the past couple of years, it's ridiculous. Just like the Thunder Lord, the Thunder Lord is was uh, if you ever saw it during E3 or anything, it was it's such an insanely powerful weapon, <sighs> like the uh, Thunder Cloud or whatever it is. I already have the DLC. I bought the uh, Digital Guardian Edition, so that included all the DLC. like I was supposed to get I was supposed to buy the Master Chief collection but uh, didn't have the cash for it so I ended up having to cancel it which is really depressing I ended up uh, I was able to get it on my Gamefly list I am very excited the First DLC uh, releases eight days after my 30th birthday, so yes, I am very excited. I try not to ask for anything for my birthday, to be honest. Um, to put it bluntly, I tend to want expensive things, and I I don't like having those things during the year. We usually wait until tax time comes around and we can we end up getting screwed over on our taxes so throughout the year so we end up getting quite a bit back um but yeah i don't ever ask for anything for birthday or christmas um 
my wife ends up buying me shit anyway. I kind of feel guilty too. To be fair. Because being a stay at home dad, I, uh, I'm not able to put an income with my wife's, so she's the one that's working, I'm the one that's taking care of the kids, and that's just uh, the, how, it, it's the only way it can work for us. Um, and I don't like asking for things just because of the fact that, you know, I, it's not my money. the family's money and I just feel bad because I'm not help, helping to contribute. That was part of another reason why I started doing this was I was hoping that you know maybe if I did it every so often and built up how many people I had in here I could get to a point where I could get sponsorship and then basically be making money off of it since I mean we play games anyway. I mean, I'm not saying that by any means we're hurting or anything like that. I mean, we're in a pretty decent... I, I'm, good, <laughs> I'm good at math. <laughs> right. And I'm not going to be able to do that until uh, February or March. I mean, that's the plan. I mean, that's what's... So far, it's set in stone. Is... I'll get that, uh, that 60 frame a second capture card and then uh, I'll get a better camera since for whatever reason there's still bugs in the connect thanks to twitch and it still looks at everybody's curtains and ceilings instead of looking at your face anymore which is fucking stupid so I mean face tracking doesn't work and People have asked me, well, why... That was another thing that the, one of those guys asked me that really pissed me off. This, uh... This fucking dick, man. He was like... He was pissed because the camera wasn't working. And I was like, I'm sorry, they did an update on the... The Twitch app. That would be kind of cool, dude. I would appreciate that a lot. <laughs> 